Hello, welcome to our daily pause. I hope you've been exploring or learning or simply finding ways to connect with all the different staff members who are joining together in these daily pause moments. Lately, my thoughts have been occupied with the concept of beginnings. It was not long ago that I began a new chapter in my life in ministry with you here at Wayne Presbyterian Church in early February. And that got me to thinking about all the other new beginning moments that I've shared with my family, my wife, and my children over the years, and how different this new beginning is as I begin without them. It was after one of our FaceTime meetings this past week that I began focusing on how I was feeling about beginnings. I realized that when anyone thinks about beginnings, it's easy to get caught up in the notion that our lives truly begin when we get out of school, perhaps, or when we get that diploma, or when we get that new fantastic job. Or we might even think more sobering moments when we think about beginnings, when a new beginning emerged because of the death of a loved one, or a serious diagnosis, or the loss of a marriage. And we often think that all of these moments, good or bad, are the defining moments of our lives. They are either beginnings or they're new beginnings. However, lately I've been thinking about how these defining moments are to be seen a bit differently. Perhaps it is because I've had more time on my hands lately to reflect. And I didn't have to go very far before I rediscovered those first four words from Scripture. In the beginning, God. You know, that's how our lives truly begin. Our lives begin with God's activity, with God's creation of us. As Craig Barnes, the president of Princeton Seminary, puts it, from the beginning, we had been created to be receivers, not achievers. Now that's an interesting thought, don't you think? He goes on to write, every page of the Bible represents God as the achiever and us as the receivers of this sacred good works. And so today I think a bit differently about beginnings. And I give thanks to God that our lives are meant to be defined by those first four words of Scripture, in the beginning, God. It is a simple yet astonishing truth that our lives begin with God, that our lives are sustained by God, and ultimately we will be saved by God. And no matter what we think about beginnings, the deepest truth about God's love for us is this. In life and in death and in all the moments in between, we belong to God. God is our beginning, our ending, and our eternity. I hope you enjoy these daily pause moments and I keep you in my prayers.